What up YouTube, this is Supercharged iOS, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to root the Ouya on the latest firmware, which is the Chupacabra update. Now, I did another video showing you guys how to root the Ouya a while back, but since the firmware updates have come out and the interface looks a little different, some people are having problems with that, I just thought I'd go ahead and make another video now to show you guys how it's done on the newest firmware. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with how to sideload APKs onto the Ouya, There'll be a link in the description to one of my other videos that can show you just how to do that. And besides having to sign up for a free Dropbox account, you're also going to have to install the Dropbox for Android APK onto your Ouya using the Ouya's web browser. So go ahead to Make, Software, Browser, and launch it. And just go ahead and do a Google search for Dropbox for Android. And the first thing you see should be Dropbox for Android, dropbox.com forward slash Android. And you can also just go ahead and type that right into your browser if you want. But just go ahead and click on that. And when you see this page right here, go ahead and click right there, download for Android. And once you get that installed, just follow the prompts. You'll be ready to sideload those APKs onto the Ouya. And there's a couple of different ways that you can install the Dropbox for Android application onto your Ouya. So I'll have a link in the description that you guys can just click on. You can also download it and install it that way. But once you've got the Dropbox for Android APK installed on the Ouya, just go ahead and launch it. And then you can locate the three APKs that you synced to the Dropbox earlier that you downloaded from in the description just below. And basically all you have to do is highlight them and just click on them and they install automatically. So for example, I'm just going to do one of them, root my Ouya, but you would have to click on it. And when you see this screen, just go to package installer and highlight it and then click on just once. But I'm not going to go through the process because I already have that application installed on my Ouya. So I'm not going to go and try to install it once it's already installed. I don't want to mess anything up. But just go back. Once you finish this, you'll return to the same window. And then you can go ahead and install the other two APKs, the Ouya Mod Collection and the Exposed Installer. And once you get those three installed, you'll be ready to move on to the next step. All right, now you've got the three APKs sideloaded onto your Ouya, and you're ready to move on and start the rooting process. So go to Make, and go to Root My Ouya launch it and click right here where it says start root and that's it once that process is finished the Ouya will reboot and you'll be ready to move on to the next step next you want to go over to exposed installer and launch it and when you see this window you want to go ahead and click on framework and then go to install and click on that and just wait a few seconds and it'll say right here, do you want to reboot now? Just go to OK, let your device reboot, and that's it for step two. You'll be ready to move on to the last step. And now that your Ouya has rebooted for the second time, scroll over and find the mod collection for Ouya, and go ahead and launch it. And make sure Ouya Mods is selected at the top so that you're on the Ouya Mods configuration section and make sure that it's selected by Google Play Store Mod. Make sure it's selected by SU and Mods Preserver. You can go ahead and turn on Disable Auto Update, although I'm not going to guarantee that that's going to work, but you can go ahead and try it if you want. And also force HDMI resolution, depending on which resolution of TV you're on or display, 720p or 1080p. I'm on a 1080p, so I chose to turn it on and force it to run 1080p all the time and you can go ahead and choose whichever one of these you want and go to controller mods and for those of you who are into gaming you want to go ahead and configure this a little bit later on after you've installed the MOGA pivot application from the Play Store and when you come back you'll be able to configure that as soon as you get the Play Store running in just a second so go back to Ouya mods and at the bottom, it'll say reboot. Now, this is where you're going to need to click whenever you get the settings configured. 
Now, just a tip, sometimes you're going to need to reboot after you change every setting. So if you turn this on or off or anything like that, it's always going to require a reboot. So, for example, if you turn this on, you're going to need to scroll down and click reboot and then come back. And you want to click on install Play Store. And when you install the Play Store, there's one other file that you're going to be prompted to visit a web page to download. And the file is called PS, the number four, and OUYA. And it stands for Play Store for OUYA. It's a zip file that has all of the different files that you will need inside of it to get the Google Play Store up and running and installed correctly on your OUYA. So when you click here, it's going to say cannot find PS4 OUYA. I guess it's a misprint. It's supposed to be cannot find PS4 OUYA.zip in slash SD card slash download. Now it will bring you to the downloads page. So when you click OK, I'll show you exactly where to click because it's kind of tricky if you haven't seen it before. Just go to cancel when you're asked to install this mobile genie unless you want it. It's basically a free app store, but you want to scroll down and you want to make sure you click right here. It's kind of tricky because of all the other places, but just click right here where it says download. So I'll show you once more. Once you get to this page, just scroll down to here and click right there, download. And then once again, like before, you're going to be asked to choose which storage you want to use. And it's important that you save the PS4 OUYA zip file to the OUYA hard drive, the OUYA's internal storage, and not to the external. So be sure that you click on OUYA HD and not external HD. So now that you've got the PS4 OUYA zip file downloaded, you can go into Manage, System, Storage, and just real quick, you want to just go and look in your Downloads folder and there it is, ps4ouya.zip. Now, just go ahead and leave that file exactly where it is. Don't try to open it. Don't try to move it or anything like that. Just leave it where it is for now and just go back all the way to the beginning. And you want to go into Make and Software, Ouya Mod Collection, launch it. And now you can go to the Google Play Store Mod and then click on install Play Store and this time see now it says install Play Store whereas before it said it would take you to some web page to download a file so now you can go ahead and click on OK and go ahead and get your Play Store installed and this is just a little message saying that the changes will become active next time you reboot so that's no big deal to reboot the OUYA you just go into the mod collection and scroll all the way to the bottom and click right there on reboot and then all the settings will be active. All right, now the OUYA is finished rebooting. So you go into make and you should see the Play Store and everything like that. But if you're having problems with it still and it's installed but it doesn't want to launch or something like that or it's crashing on you, go into the exposed installer, launch it and go into framework and scroll down right here and you can also you can use soft reboot and if that doesn't work you can also try the other full reboot so just try those and one of those should get it working for you so I'll go back a few steps and I'll go ahead and launch my play store to show you that it works and if you see this right here and everything looks good and then you go to apps and you click there and it says no connection or something like that, just go back and click the reboot and soft reboot. Always try the soft reboot first. And then if that doesn't work, then try the full reboot and that'll definitely get it working. If you followed all the steps right, then it should work. It should get working with no problem. And I'll go ahead and I'll install an app even to show you that this works. Let's go to categories. games and let's go ahead and let's try Fruit Ninja. I'm trying to download something fast that, that doesn't take too long, you know. Okay, and go to accept. 
and you can see it's downloading, it's installing. And as soon as it's finished installing, I'll go ahead and show it to you by the rest of all the other apps. So I'll go ahead and exit out of the Play Store. And go to Make. And there you go, Fruit Ninja. Let's try to launch it. Now, I know not every game will work, but most games will work. And there you go. So you know Fruit Ninja works also as well as Angry Birds and a bunch of other games. And I'm not going to play this game on video for copyright reasons, but we saw that it worked. It started up, and most of the other games worked just as well. All right, this is Supercharged iOS. This video showed you guys how to boot the Ouya on the latest firmware update, which is the Chupacabra update. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it pretty useful, please do me a favor and click that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. And also check out my other channel, youtube.com forward slash extreme tech global. And if you have any questions or comments, you can always find me at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS and twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. If you're interested in purchasing an Ouya, there'll be a link in the description just below this video. And this particular model retails for $89. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.